CDD 3.0, Clarion Database Developer, was launched in 1993. It was a game-changing product, with numerous features and technology that allowed programmers to construct programs without a Windows-like Common User Access CUA, user interface. Many of the CDD enhancements were well-suited to the Windows programming paradigm, laying the framework for Clarion for Windows in the future. The CDD IDE was a completely new development environment based on the JPI IDE. It came with a number of high-quality programming tools, including an editor, a project system, a compiler, a linker, and a visual debugger. CPD's P code was vanished. The Clarion language's JPI compiler generated actual machine code. Xs, LIBs, and dynamic link libraries are all examples of executables, DLLs. Protected mode binaries may be generated, allowing DOS programs to utilize more memory than the 640 kilobytes limit. New data types, CString, String, Date, Time, U Short, U Long, File Driver System, for example, Btrieve, Clarion, DBase, FoxPro, Paradox, Queues, Tables, and screen processing for CUA were all added to the Clarion 3.0 language. Models were phased out in favor of templates, which were more feature-rich and adaptable. This allowed for considerably more robust and complicated code to be generated. With all of this additional power comes a new level of intricacy. The shift to CDD was problematic for many existing users. CPD was simple and straightforward to use which drew in a large number of non-programmers who could create programs by answering questions. Professional programmers were better suited to CDD. Programs could still be written with ease, but the IDE size and functionality made it appear complicated. CDD's first five patch releases were so buggy that they were practically unusable, causing so many consumers to forsake the program that it was a near disaster for the company. Clarion kept working on CDD until it was usable in version 3.007. Clarion for DOS, CFD, version 3.1 was released in 1995. This was far more stable, although there was little interest in DOS programming tools at the time. The top speed file driver, an ISAM file format that allows all indexes and numerous data files to be included in one single file, was a key feature. Clarion Software and JPI's connection became stronger during this time, and on April 30, 1992, Clarion and JPI combined to establish TopSpeed Corporation. Employees at the London-based TopSpeed Development Center got to work on CDD and fixed a lot of the flaws. Clarion for Windows version 1.0, aka CW 1.0, was released by TopSpeed in January 1995. The final version of 1.003 was released in June 1995. The IDE was developed entirely in Windows and could generate Win16EXE and DLL binaries for Windows 3.x. Many changes were included in the language to enable the event-driven Windows user interface. A multi-threaded MDI application could be readily created by a Clarion developer. CW 1.0 built on the database flexibility introduced in CDD by providing an ODBC driver that allows users to connect to SQL databases or any other source that supports ODBC. In CW 1.0, the DOS monolithic template concept was considerably improved, and a model that allowed a window to use several templates was replaced, extension, control or procedure templates. A screen procedure in DOS, for example, may support viewing one data table. A window could employ many browse control templates in CW 1.0, each of which displayed a distinct table. Clarion code generation improved dramatically as a result of this architectural modification. For part 2 click on the link above. For more information on our Clarion programming services visit sterlingdata.com.